Very hard to reconcile uh, two of Buffett's sayings, and I think you referred to one today, which is, um, if I were managing ten million dollars or so, you know, I could, I think I could make fifty percent, or, or never mind, I think I can guarantee it, right? Yeah. And then uh, I think um, after he started Berkshire Hathaway as a public company, he's he's kept on emphasizing it's far better to buy a wonderful business at a fair price than a fair business at a wonderful price, right? And he goes on to say, there's never just one cockroach in the kitchen. Um, and Ber- buying Berkshire at the textile mill was one of the worst mistakes he's ever made uh, in his life. So I, I found these uh, hard to reconcile. I'm sure you've thought about these. Uh, I'd like your thoughts on these. Yeah. Well, you know, Charlie Munger, the vice chair of Berkshire, was asked a similar question. And uh, his answer was, uh, it turned out we could buy great businesses. And, you know, it only cost us a couple points of compounding a year. And... Uh, and what a better life, right? So, you know, I think about um, this Sanborn situation all the time because it was such a small company, right? I mean, you could almost envision uh, a group of, uh, of individuals, right, getting a controlling stake in a, a company that had a market cap of $5 million or $10 million. I mean, that could happen today, right? That's what he was doing. Right. So, you know, I think if he's saying, OK, if I had a couple million bucks, you know, I could find these companies. Maybe they have a five million dollar market cap. Right. Maybe they just need to be shut down or maybe they need to be sold or maybe, they, you know, but you could you could engineer these type of of returns. I think that's what he means. Um, but for for the lifestyle that he wanted to live. Right. If you want to have a, a diary with your weekly schedule that, you know, is blank except for like Thursday at two haircut, right? Compounders is, is a really a good way to do it. You know, he made a much better return in a company called Dempster Mill, which he liquidated effectively, right? And then deincorporated uh, to avoid tax, and he made a great return on that. But, you know, the town of Beatrice, Nebraska, had headlines about Buffett the liquidator, you know, all the time. And that's not, you know, any panacea in terms of how you want to live your life and and be seen. So once he was already rich, I think he he sort of latched onto this idea, even though it wasn't maybe the the optimal from a return perspective.